it's a first step in a long journey to recovery. Um, at, at the foundation, we support survivors every day. Um, one lady came to us who was 70 years old. She had never spoken about the abuse, so it is not a five-minute journey to no, recovery. No. This is the first step, but without an acknowledgement of the failures and an apology, there is no chance for them to move forward. And they, now, have, they have had that apology and acknowledgement today, haven't they? Yeah, and, and actually, I have to say that the, the, the Chief Constable sounded very genuine. Um, he brought Sarah Jackson in, who is the new um, head of, of serious crime. At the foundation, we have been working with Michaela, who is also um, leading on this. There are still going to be police officers who don't treat victims appropriately, but with the right leadership and the right message, um, they will be forced to change their working practice and the culture because the previous chief constables allowed a toxic culture to endure in Greater Manchester Police. That's why I have no longer got a job. That, those apology letters could have been written by me 10 years ago. Instead, we have had to fight every single step of the way to get this apology. It's not, it's not too little to... This has been 10 years of battle from start to finish without Harriet and Kate from the Centre for Women's Justice and my perseverance. This would never have happened. They would never have got the apology and I just hope that GMP have learned lessons, that it's not just empty words, that we get real change. What can I say? It's now or never. Um, at least we've got an apology. At least there is an acknowledgement of the failures and particularly for Amber, uh, there is an acknowledgement there for the first time ever on a document that she was a victim. She was yeah. treated disgracefully. Um, Daisy was criminalised. Ruby had her fetus seized. Those things will never leave those girls. But this is a start and I hope that GMP learn from it and that we don't have to bring three more girls back, me, Harriet and Kate, in another 10 years. Um, okay. And if we achieve that, then I guess we can say um, the best we can hope for. Well, Maggie, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.